Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the pattern for my new Disney Princess bracelet. So this is my first princess bracelet, and the characters included on this one are Ariel, Cinderella, and Snow White. So I'm really happy with the way that the characters turned out, and I hope that everyone else is too. To make your bracelet, you can use either the Alpha Loom or the full-size Rainbow Loom. And I do prefer to make mine on the Alpha Loom for a few reasons. I like the fact that the pins are spaced a little bit farther apart width-wise, so that way your bracelet has a little bit more room to grow down in between the pins. And I like the fact that they're spaced closer together lengthwise because that way those clear bands that tie the rows together don't have to stretch as far. And then another really important reason is because it has this alpha comb that has the seven hooks which obviously will help you loom a lot faster. But I know that not everybody has access to the alpha loom so you can definitely make this on your rainbow loom. You just need to have your pins set in line with one another, and you'll only need to use two rows of pins, so you can remove the third row or leave it on, it's up to you. And then you would just use seven sets of pins that are straight across from one another. And you would want to remove those blue base plates from those seven rows so your bracelet can grow down. And if you do need any extra help with how to do this on the rainbow loom or how to follow a grid pattern, you can check out my video that I did making an American flag using the rainbow loom. To make this bracelet, I used a total of 364 of all of the color bands and then 51 of the clear. So let me just break it down by each color. I used 62 turquoise, 38 orange, 9 purple, 37 green, 30 pink, 24 yellow, 35 blue, 5 red, 21 black, 10 white, and then I used 93 of the skin tone. I used a mixture. I used a lighter skin tone for Snow White and for Cinderella, and then I used a little darker skin tone for Ariel. And these are regular size bands, so you will have to double them and then, as I said, 51 of the clear. So I wanted to give you just a very brief demonstration about what it means to double a band. So when you're dealing with the alpha loom bands, they're nice and small, so all you do is stretch those straight across from one pin to the other. But when you're dealing with a regular size band, which you will often have to do if you want any color that isn't available for the alpha loom bands, you're going to have a band that's about twice as big. So you're going to have to double this, which you can do in your fingers, you can do it on your hook. What I found is the easiest is to just place it on one of the pins, twist, and then just loop that other end back on. And then what you just need to do is take your hook and grab both of those loops and stretch it straight across. So basically now you've just doubled that, so it's going to be about the same width as your regular alpha loom band. So here is my bracelet once again and what I'm going to do is add a grid pattern above my bracelet so then you can just pause your video and then follow along with the pattern to create your own. But let me just tell you a little bit more specifics about this particular bracelet. It is 52 rows in length and when I measured it, it's about seven and a quarter inches. So about every seven rows equals an inch, give or take a little bit. And if you do happen to have the alpha loom, on the back of the instructions, they include a grid template that you can use to approximate the size you need for your wrist. And if you do need to add or subtract rows, you can do that on the ends. There's two rows on either end and then there's also two rows in between the characters. I hope that everyone loves their new princess bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. 
You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!